Hello there. Welcome to the software engineering course. And in this tutorial, we're going to discuss the expression or rules that form of the basic Kokomo estimation model. So a tutorial that the umbra. Jisham also expression by rule basic Kokomo estimation model use kora hai. Tadir ke niyalochona korbo. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen the underlying concept of implementing the basic Kokomo model. Just slightly recap that at first, I want effort estimate hobe, depending on the KLOC or KDLOC. A initially the effort term estimate could be nominal estimation. Then, based on this nominal estimation and some constant value, we will calculate the time for development. I'm ready to effort calculate. Then lastly, our development effort and time for development, they do estimate based on these two estimations, we can estimate the average staff size and also the productivity. Now let us see the expressions or rules that form up this underlying concept of the basic Kokomo model. So development effort calculate color rules of say A into KLOC to the power B. A and B are constant. KLOC is the kilo lines of code, or the project is the kilo lines of code, and the shader value is the KLOC. Ebon development effort is the result of the staff months or person months unit. So the rules for development effort is A into KLOC to the power B. A should throw the nominal effort take calculate code of filbo. Then nominal effort calculate kora hole. Amra calculation a jabo hoche time for development, which is called the TDEV. TDEV calculate kora rules hoche C into E to the power D. Ekane C a bong D duta hoche constant depending on particular category of projects. C a bong D we can rock on value tag be. E hoche amra. Take kichu kono aga je development effort ta calculate kore aslam shetar value. Ebang e total jinish tar result ashbe hotche in terms of times unit or that weeks ba months. And most of the time it a months unit e ashbe. So development effort rule hotche a into k l o c to the power b. Time for development rule hotche c into e to the power d. E duita rule say. J A B C D constraint gula babuhar kora hache. There are different different value thakbe depending on the different project categories or mode of project development according to the BOEM. Amra kichu kono mode dei sheta dekbo. Now amra jokhon development effort ebang time for development. Idui jake calculate kore fillam. Idui jaro por base kore. Ekhon amra person required or average staff size ta calculate kore fillbo. Chita kamera bolchi S S. Or that a project development a key polyman person lack the party direct estimation give up estimate corbo effort kajo the umbra time for development they divide kori then umbra person required or ever a sub size at value to page of a one eater you need to have a hot chip persons or the key polyman person a software project to gather like say shit at value to a hot chip person required or ever a staff size so e kajo the अर्थात एफर्ट के जो दी टाइम फॉर डेवलपमेंट दे डिवाइड करी ताहले आम्रा एवर स्टाफ साइज पे जाते हैं एवं ए सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्टर प्रोडक्टिविटी अर्थात पी ऐटा क्या मैं किस भावे कैलकुलेट करूँ बो द अमाउंट ऑफ लाइंस ऑफ कोड दैट इस द किलो लाइंस ऑफ कोड डिवाइडेड बाय एफर्ट किलो लाइंस ऑफ KLOC per PM, a unit amra productivity calculate kore felbo. So these are the related expressions or rules that actually form up the basic Kokomo estimation model. Let's recap the rules. Development effort E equals A into KLOC to the power B and its unit will be person months. Time for development TDEV that equals to C into E to the power D. C and D are constants and E is the development effort and the unit will be in months. In these two 
equations we have used a b c d which are the constants and they depend on the category of project or the mode of development amra khub ta shigrohi ei project category gulo somporke dekhbo then the person required or average staff size which is ss eta calculate korbo hocche amra effort divided by time for development and its unit will be persons and lastly the productivity will be calculated as the amount of kilo lines of code divided by the effort and its unit will be KLOC per PM. All right. So, if you have a project category, you can see the basic Kokomo model. You can see the category product, you can see the development mode considered. You can see the first one is organic, second one is semi detached, and the third one is called the embedded. And according to POEM, the value of this constants a b c d jeta amra previous slide e dekhe aslam orthat development effort ebong time for development ei dui ta jinish calculate korar jonno je char ta constant use kora hoyeche tader different different value thakte pare depending on the type of project so for the organic projects the value of a is 2.4 the value of b is 1.05 the value of c is 2.5 and the value of d is 0.3838 if the project or the development mode is semi-detached, then the value of A is 3, value of B is 1.12, value of C is 2.5, and the value of D is 0 0.35. And lastly, if the project category is embedded, then the value of A is 3.6, value of B will be 1.20, value of C is 2.5, and the value of D is 0 0.32. Now, the thing is, you just don't need to worry about these values because you just don't need to memorize them they will be given or if you just search them in the internet you will easily get these values so empirically derived data data research kore bohem propose kore chilo bohem propose korar so we just don't need to worry too much about these values je value gulo kibhabe aslo ba amra something like that all right so this is all about the expression or rules that actually form up the basic kokomo model we have seen the expressions and the rules and we have also seen the different values of the constants that are used in these rules according to the project type of the development mode i hope you have understood all the things that i have discussed in this tutorial and in the next tutorial, we're going to discuss the categories of the development modes of the projects that I just stated earlier. That is the organic, the semi-detached, and the embedded type. So see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.